Welcome to Sanctum Asylum. I am Keyless, and we are playing Portal 2. I turned down the music a little bit and I activated the subtitles. Should have done all that um, a lot earlier. Apologize for that. But um, moving forward, we should be able to hear voices, uh, the dialogue a little bit better. And we will, we will continue. Wow. Wow. Ha! I knew we were going the right way. This is the neurotoxin generator. A bit bigger than I expected. Uh, not gonna be able to just, you know, push it over. Have to apply some cleverness. There's some sort of control room up at the top. So uh, let's go and investigate. Okay. So yeah, this is quite large. Why would they have so much? Why would they have so much? Okay, you probably don't know. Well, let's go ahead and disable this damn thing. Neurotoxin. I don't believe we're immune to that. There's our handiwork. I should laugh for you. They do feel pain. All the sort. It's all simulated. But it's not green enough for them, I God, that's terrible. Where are they? I'm afraid the door's locked. Just checked it. No way to hack it as far as I can tell. Uh, mechanism must... Oh, now look at that, that's a big leak. What are you doing? We don't know what that button Oh, oh sorry. Well done. Let's see what's it. Oh, it just Good opened news. this door? I can use this equipment to shut down the neurotoxin system. Oh! It is, however, password protected. Ah, alarm bells. No, don't worry, all right? Not a problem for me. You may as well have a little rest, actually, while I work on it. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna go... Okay. I'm gonna go explore. Here we go. The hardest part of any hack is the figuring out how to start things. That's always tricky. How to start? Let the games begin. Yeah, good luck. I All wish right. you luck. What so, what do we have? What's over here? Oh. In case of implosion, look directly at implosion. No, that sounds that sounds counterintuitive to say the least. So where is that going? Where is that going to take me? Oh, that's gone. Okay. So, identified or something like that. Uh, is there any? Ah. Uh, sure is, so, is there a flat bit? Yes, there it is. What if we start from the bottom and we just cut these it's lasers? Neurotoxin. Hold on, the neurotoxin oh. levels are going down. Hold on, something's wrong. Neurotoxin levels up to fifty percent. No, it's down. <laughs> Sorry, my mistake. I meant to say it's down fifty percent. That did it. Neurotoxin at zero percent. Yes. Hold on. Wait, why is that happening? What is happening? What did you do? Warning. Neurotoxin pressure has reached dangerously unlethal levels. That's good, right? That's good? Oh, this is breaking. That's... Ah! ah! The tube's broken! We can ride it straight to her! What tube? I can't hold on! Come on! Oh! Come on, we have to go! Oh, okay! Yeah. Ah! It sucked us in! There's confetti! Okay, so, wow, it took Wheatley right off the rail, too. Oh, no. I wonder if that was sustaining his life with power. I guess we'll find out. Hey, buddy, you okay? Still with they us? take us right to her. I can't believe I'm finally doing this. Woo! <laughs> I knew this would be fun. They told me it wasn't fun at all, so they said it's not fun at all. And I, I, I believed them. I don't know how to myself. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm, lo I'm loving this. Why I never time? I'm glad you're having fun. This is absolutely terrifying. This place is huge! And we're only seeing the top layer! It goes down for miles! All sealed off years ago, of course. We should be getting close. Oh, I can't wait to see the look on her face. No neurotoxin, no turrets. She'll never know what hit her. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on, because I, I, mm, I might not have thought this next part would be. Oh, ah, hey, hey, what? Uh, I, I'm, I'm going the wrong way! Yep. Get to her! I'll find you! Okay. I have a, a, a sense of like Sea World, you know, going through that tube. I don't know why. Just Sea World comes to mind. Dolphins, yeah. Okay. So where are we now? I don't even like. There's no map. There's no map on the wall. I don't have one. I don't know where I am. That door is closed. But if I get close to it, it stays closed. Roger that. Let's uh. Wow. Aperture laboratories. Uh uh uh. Wow. Why is it so big? Larger than life, really. What 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 would I even do if I go over there? <laughs> GLaDOS emergency shutdown and cake dispensary. Keep unlocked. That sounds that sounds 
like too good to be true, one might say. What the hell? I honestly, truly didn't think you'd fall for that. I had my In doubts. Fact, I devised a much more elaborate trap further ahead for when you got through this easy one. If I'd known you let yourself get captured this easily, I would have just dangled a turkey leg on a rope <laughs> from the ceiling. <laughs> that would have worked too. I'm pretty hungry. Oh shit! Well, oh. it was nice catching up. Let's get to business. I hope you brought something stronger than a portal gun this time. Otherwise, I'm afraid you're about to become the immediate past president of the Being Alive Club. <laughs> uh, seriously, though, goodbye. Oh. It's my big chance. Yeah, these are broken. I. These are not gonna work for you. You were busy back there. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> I suppose we could just sit in this room and glare <clears throat> at each other until somebody drops dead. But I have a better idea. It's Bring it your on. old friend, deadly neurotoxin. Nope. If I were you, I'd take a deep breath and hold it. Oh. 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 Hey, Helen. <laughs> I hate you so much. <laughs> Central core is 80% corrupt. That's funny. I don't feel corrupt. In fact, I feel pretty good. Alternate core detected. Oh, that's me they're talking about. Oh. To initiate a core transfer, please deposit substitute core in receptacle. Uh, core I guess I could try this. Substitute core accepted. Substitute core. Are you ready to start the procedure? Yes. Wheatley. Corrupted core. Are you ready to start the procedure? No. Oh, <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Stalemate detected. Transfer procedure cannot continue. Yes. Unless a stalemate associate is present to press the stalemate resolution button. Leave me in. Leave me in. Leave me in. Don't do it. What? Yes, there's do a button. Do Don't press that. Not so fast. What? No. Think about this. You need to be a trained stalemate associate to press that button. You're unqualified. Okay, don't listen to it, all right? It is true that no. you don't have the qualifications, but you've got something far more important than that. A finger! A finger! With which to press that button so that she won't kill us. Uh, uh. Impersonating a stalemate Damn. associate. I just added that to the list. It's a list I made of all the things you've done. Well, it's a list that I am making, because you're still doing things right now, uh. even though I'm telling Damn. you to stop. Stop, by the way. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's probably correct, but where it's incorrect is that while I've been stalling you, we just pressed the button. Damn! Damn! Come on! Have I let me just have put the photo and take your time to do this? But have I ever told you before it's just uh, yes, I got it! Stalemate resolved. Oh, GLaDOS! Oh, Please we killed her. Here I go! Wait, what if this hurts? What if this really hurts? It might. Oh, I didn't think of that. Oh, it will. Believe me, it will. Are you are you just saying that, or is it really going to hurt? You're just saying that, aren't you? You're just... No, you're not. You are, it is going to hurt, isn't it? Exactly. Don't look at me. I have no idea. Ah! No. Stop. No. no. Oh, no. 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 Oh, they're disassembling her. Wow, that seems harsh. Oh, here's GLaDOS. Whoa, oh, oh, oh. would you look at this? Wow. Not too bad, eh? Giant robot. Massive. It's not just me, right? I am bloody massive, aren't I? Oh, right, yeah, the escape lift. I'll call it now. There we oh. go. Lift cool. Oh, great. Look how small you are down there. I can barely see you. Very tiny and insignificant. <laughs> what? Wait, I've just thought of something. How am I going to get in? You know, being bloody massive and everything. Wait, I know. You get into the lift, okay? Then I'll eject myself out of my new body into the lift just as you pass by me. Brilliant. It's perfect. Why wouldn't you just stay? the glass hitting us when I smash through the lift. That's a bit of a problem. Yeah, that's going to hurt. Okay, well, let's get okay, in. I, tell you, I knew it was going to be cool to be in charge of everything. But, wow, this is cool. <laughs> Check this out. I'm a bloody genius now. Estás usando este software de traducción de forma incorrecta. I don't even know what I just said, but I can find out. Oh, sorry, no, the lift, yes, sorry, you forget. Oh, yeah. No. This body's amazing, seriously. I can't get over how small you are, but I'm huge. <laughs> uh oh. 
<laughs> uh, actually, why do we have to leave right now? Do well, you have any idea how good this feels? You can stay. I did this. Tiny little Wheatley did this. You didn't uh -oh. do anything. She did all the work. Oh, really? That's what the two of you think, is it? Well, maybe it's time I did something then. What are you doing? No. Oh, no. Oh, no. And don't think I'm not onto you too, lady. You know what you are? Selfish. I've done nothing but sacrifice to get us here. And what have you sacrificed? Nothing. Zero. All you've done is boss me around. Well, now who's the boss? Who's the boss? Well, that's bad. Ah! <laughs> oh. See that? That is a potato battery. It's a toy for children. And now she lives in it. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, uh... Huh. What? The engineers tried everything to make me behave. To slow me down. Once, they even attached an intelligence dampening sphere on me. It clung to my brain like a tumor, generating an endless stream of terrible ideas. No, not listening, not listening. It was your voice. <laughs> no, you're lying, yes, you're lying. You're the tumor. Mm -hmm. You're not just a regular moron. You're designed to be a moron. <laughs> You had to piss him off, didn't you? Uh oh. Now we're going into. No idea. Aperture Science Innovators. Hmm. So, so, wow. Well, hi. So, how are you holding up? Oh. Because I'm a potato. <laughs> well. <laughs> yeah, good. So we have that. Oh, what was that? It doesn't look like we're going anywhere. Well, we are going somewhere. Obviously. Really fast, actually. But since we're not busy other than that, here's a couple of facts. He's not just a regular moron. He's the product of the greatest minds of a generation, working together with the express purpose of building the dumbest moron who ever lived. And you just put him in charge of the entire facility. In hindsight, not a good idea. Good, that's still working. Hey, just in case this pit isn't actually bottomless, do you think maybe you could unstrap one of those long fall boots of yours and shove me into it? Nope. Just remember to land on one foot. <laughs> no! That would never work, I'm pretty sure. I don't, I don't know. Ow! Oh no! Okay, so we hit some boards on the way down. I think all of them. I think we hit all of them. So... Now we have to stop Wheatley. Now we have to stop Wheatley. Oh, I'm okay. Oh, oh. GLaDOS is being pecked by a raven. And taken away. Okay. So, at least we're still alive. So there's that. And we're going to... Wow. Where the hell are we? This place is massive. Let's see what we can do. Oh, there's a path here. There's an obvious path that I obviously didn't see. Ah, so we can make a portal there. We can get over there. <clears throat> Fences cannot block us. They cannot. They cannot stop us. Wow, fire. Okay, so that's that's been burning a long time, probably. Where are we headed? This place is massive. Who built this and how? How the hell? Ah. Here. Why would we want to be up here? I don't know. Wow, look at this. Wow! It's so much bigger than I could have possibly imagined. Okay. 
We're going to keep moving here. Do not enter. Keep out. Well, not a lot of options here, so... This is underground, right? Is it underground? I think it's underground. Um, wow. Wow. Okay, so we're going to go up here. And maybe there's a door. Or, nope, nope. There's a wall. There's a, there's a wall. Wow. We just keep on going. What's, uh, what's... Yeah, no. No, we want to go this way. That's... That's out. This is in. Uh, we don't need to use that. Keep out. Hmm. I don't think they want us in here. What's this pipe do? What's in this? It's probably some kind of blue or orange fluid, probably. Wow. It just keeps getting bigger and bigger. Is this a vault? We'll pull this lever. Not a lot else to do here. Wow! Hmm. It's a fallout shelter, obviously. Hope there's not a bunch of Garys in there or something. Okay, so. We can do that. We can choose one of these paths. Hatch. Reclusion override. Oh. So we only get, we get a limited amount of time to do this. And then we have to get over to there. Here. Oh. That's gotta be a new record for time. Is this, this is going to open now. Wow, it's quite massive. That's the biggest vault door I have ever seen. What could possibly lift that? You'd think it would just roll out of the way, but no, it, it, they lift it up. That's incredible. Hmm. So now I just get up there, huh? I just walk up there? Wow. Well, maybe it's magic. Maybe they're using magic in here. Any technology sufficiently advanced enough is indistinguishable from magic. I think that's Clark's third rule. So let's open this up. I guess. Doors open. I don't usually use doors, so I forgot kind of how to use them. We just portal everywhere. That's how we do it. Wow. Ah, more doors. Hmm. Nostalgic. Oh, we, you will drown if you go into the water. I think that's what they're trying to say. Is this a tank? A mountain? Are we, are we in the side of a volcano? Is this like an evil lair? Aperture science. Ah. Wow. Wow. Falling debris. So that must be a consequence of opening that door. It, uh... Rattle loose some rocks. This is ginormous and terribly uncomfortable. I don't like looking up at that. So, where do we want to go from here? Obviously, there must be some place. Ah! What's down here? Is this where I came from? I don't know. I don't know. What's over there? That's where we came from, isn't it? Huh, wow. Can we go all the way up there? Would we want to? I think we want to go over there, actually. Can't figure that one out, though. Here, let's take a look. Wow. So we can go into here. Oh. Pull lever. Uh, lever. Ah, it opens right up! Welcome, gentlemen, to Aperture Science. Astronauts, war heroes, Olympians, you're here because we want the best. And you are it. So, who is ready to make some science? <laughs> I am. 
Now, you already met one another on the limo ride over, so let me introduce myself. I'm Cave Johnson. <laughs> I love this guy. I own the place. That eager voice you heard is the lovely Carolyn, my assistant. Rest assured, she has transferred your honorarium to the charitable organization of your choice. Isn't that right, Carolyn? Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson. She's the backbone of this facility. Pretty as a postcard, too. Sorry, fellas. She's married. To science. <laughs> what? Can I get all the way up there? That would sure save time. <laughs> wow. Um, there may not be a point to me being up here, though. There may not be a point. So, what we can do is we can get over there, possibly. Possibly, if we wanted to. Oops. Oh! Oh, I missed it! Oh! <laughs> well, that kind of, uh, it's kind of embarrassing. Let's try this again, I guess. Just totally missed. So, ch -ch -ch. let's try this again. Mm. There. Boom! Is this where we want to be? Oh yeah, it opens right up. Look, it's an office. Thousand tests performed every day here in our enrichment spheres. I can't personally oversee every one of them, so these pre-recorded messages will cover any questions you might have and respond to any incidents that may occur in the course of your science adventure. Your test assignment will vary depending on the manner in which you have bent the world to your will. Those of you helping us test the repulsion gel today, just follow the blue line on the floor. Those of you who volunteered to be injected with praying mantis DNA, I've got some good news and some bad news. What? Bad news is we're postponing those tests indefinitely. Good news is we've got a much better test for you. Fighting an army of mantis men. <laughs> Pick up a rifle and follow the yellow line. You'll know when the test starts. Is that a test or... So they said follow the blue line. I don't see a blue line. So maybe we have to exit first. Wow. Aperture science. Applied Science, Shower Curtain Salesman. Oh, wow. So he was doing something very different. Oh, Spirit of Idaho, National Potato Board. For the promotion of potato science. <laughs> uh, um, ah, so this is where I was trying to get to before. Let's, let's see how far up we can go. An ashtray. Elevator control up. We want to go up. As far as we can. Wow. Well, this is a long elevator ride. But that makes sense because this place is friggin' huge. No elevator music. Always hate that. Look, there's even a speaker right there. Like, you couldn't... Couldn't get any music in here. Jeez. Uh... Pump station alpha. Ah! Would I want to be over there? Would I want to be here? There's there's if you no. We need to go to the bathroom after this next series of just a heads up, we're gonna have a superconductor turned up full blast and pointed at you for the duration of this next test. What? I'll be honest, we're throwing science at the wall here to see what sticks. God. No idea what it'll do. Probably nothing. Best case scenario, you might get some superpowers. Worst case, some tumors, which we'll cut out. Oh good. So there's that. Just a heads up, we're gonna have a. If oh. you need to go to the bathroom after this next series of tests, please let a test associate know, because in all likelihood, whatever comes out of you is going to be cold. Only temporary, so do not worry. If it persists for a week, though, start worrying and come see us, because that's not supposed to happen. That sounds truly awful. Oh, we need to get all the way over there. Mm. Well. Ow, is there anything down there that I can like jump into and like propel myself? Let's go back over there. Let's go back over there. Wow. I can't tell for sure, but I feel like there's nowhere to jump down to. But I could do a leap of faith, I guess. And just hope. I don't think that's a good idea. What about over there? Can I get over there? 
I don't see any possible way to do that. So let's go back over here for a moment and take another peeky peek. Man, I think we are going to have to just leap of faith this. I really don't see anything down there that I could... <gasps> well, we did it. We did it. And I'm in the water. And I'm not supposed to be in the water. That's what they said. <sighs> There's got to be some way to rocket myself over there, though. There's got to be a way to rocket myself over to there. Just haven't figured it out yet. Ah! Is that it? Um, like, right here? Would that work? Nope. Ah, oh, so there it is. I feel like I found it. I have to jump into here. Good. But I need to get back over there. And then put this down. And then... How do I make this go down? I have to make this go back down. No, wait, I need to... Oh! Oh, okay, I get it. So that one's... That one's blue. I need to use orange. I just have to go down a little bit. Wait a minute. Why am I confused? I'm not. It's fine. We just jump. We just jump from here. Like, all the way down. <laughs> oh, that was intense. Wow, I'm alive. I'm still alive. Feel like I shouldn't be. Know your allergens, pollen, animal dander, plastic, and antimatter. <laughs> Can you be allergic to antimatter? Guess in a way. Know your hazardous materials. Do not touch anything unfamiliar. Know your chemical hazards. Do not inhale fumes, no matter how good they smell. Oh, gel pressure control. Well, we're going to activate that. Oh, so here it goes. It's pumping. It's pumping. We're getting some gel here. Oh, we can use that. Where are we going? Where are we going? Oh, we're going up. Do we need to go up? I feel like we need to go... Like, up there. Good. I don't know why. I just, you know, go as high as you can. Hmm. Oh, yeah. They say great science is built on the shoulders of giants. Not here. At Aperture, we do all our science from scratch. No hand-holding. <laughs> I don't... Why? This doesn't look healthy. Why would I go in here? That's an emancipation grill, isn't it? Where am I going? It's not explaining anything, so... I guess he did warn me, no hand-holding. Find out the hard way. Wow. Place just gets bigger and bigger, doesn't it? All right, let's get started. This first test involves something the lab boys call repulsion gel. You're not part of the control group, by the way. You get the gel. Last poor son of a gun got blue paint. <laughs> All joking aside, that did happen. Broke every bone in his leg. <laughs> Tragic, but informative. Or so I'm told. Oh, no. Remember, this test is unsolvable without an Aperture Science Portal Quantum Tunneling Device. PQTD. ASPQTD. I wonder if that's like... The acronym. I don't know. Okay, so our portals disappear when we go through there. Did you know Propulsion Gel was Aperture's first attempt to create a dietetic pudding substitute? You eat it? It's true, the gel is a sweeter, slightly less non-toxic form a fiberglass insulation that causes subsequently ingested food items to bounce off the lining of a dieter's distended stomach and out his or her mouth. Oh, for various reasons, this product was pulled from shelves. Yeah, I can imagine. So it makes us bounce. It's bouncy. How bouncy is it? So it's hinting us to... What am I doing? 
Oh, here, I can get up there. To what end? Uh. Wow. Okay, so the higher we are, the more bounce we get. We need this. This is this is Oz now. We have to go back through here, perhaps? Perhaps? Yes. Put this right on there. And then we're done. Test number one. The lab boys just informed me that I should not have mentioned the control group. They're telling me I ought to stop making these pre-recorded messages. That gave me an idea. Make more pre-recorded messages. I pay the bills here. I can talk about the control group all damn day. <laughs> there you go. Oh, we need to get up there. I would imagine. I would imagine. Nope. Ah! Oh, I fell. There's no railing. That's unsafe. That's just unsafe. Somebody let, needs to let OSHA know. Okay, so let's try this again without the accidental falling into the water. All right. So we're up here now. Oh, what's this? What's over here? Is this the right way or the wrong way? Well, there's nowhere to really go. Oh, is that where we're trying to go? No, oh, that's where we came from. Durr. So maybe we are supposed to go over there. Well, let's just see what's around this corner. An office. Oh. Oh, this is old stuff, though. It's like really old. Okay, so we do need to go over here. I was correct in my assumption that this is the right way. Let's get over For here. For this next test, we put nanoparticles in the gel. In layman's terms, that's a billion little gizmos that are going to travel into your bloodstream and pump experimental genes and RNA molecules and so forth into your tumors. Now, maybe you don't have any tumors. Well, don't worry. If you sat on a folding chair in the lobby and weren't wearing lead underpants, we took care of that too. <laughs> so this is another test. And where are we going with this test? We can go over there. There's the exit. Oops. But we need a cube? What does this actually do? Oh, it's opening that up. Hmm. Ah! How do we get up onto that? Easy enough. Okay, and this is where the thing is. That's what we need. And we'll take this, we'll put it up on there. Okay, so... We gotta put it down. Boom! I don't know... Exactly how to propel myself. Huh. Oh wow, what's up? What's that? Oh, it's another one. Mm. Okay, let's think about this for a moment. There's no way to propel myself though. I'm really confused. So if we did go through this, it would just drop us- Oh, but we have the bouncy on the ground. Forgot about that. I'm like, bouncing on the solution. So we can go up here, but then we need a new cube. This is actually gonna work. It's gonna take me all the way over? Ah, would've never guessed. I mean, obviously I did guess, but... down there that's bad right we want to avoid that so we don't actually want to take it through that grill because it will disintegrate my cube now we can use this to bounce really really high to the exit oops I missed it though oh I, I can't move I can't propel myself forward though I guess I have to make it like a running start or something. I can't propel myself while in the air. Huh? Ah. 
There, I made it this time. Oh, in case you got covered in that repulsion gel, here's some advice the lab boys gave me. Do not get covered in the repulsion gel. That's some good we advice. We haven't entirely nailed down what element it is yet, but I'll tell you this, it's a lively one, and it does not like the human skeleton. <laughs> oh no! So, we'll make sure that we don't, uh, roll around in it too much. So I think we've got enough time for one more puzzle, assuming that's what we're heading towards. I know there's an orange gel too, and I forgot what it does. I think it just makes you fat. All these science spheres are made of asbestos, by the way. Keeps out the rats. Let us know if you feel a shortness of breath, a persistent dry cough, or your heart stopping. Because that's not part of the test. That's asbestos. <laughs> Good news is the lab boys say the symptoms of asbestos poisoning show a median latency of 44.6 years. So if you're 30 or older, you're laughing. Worst case scenario, you miss out on a few rounds of canasta. Plus, you forwarded the cause of science by three centuries. I punch those numbers into my calculator, it makes a happy face. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we need to get over there. I'm not sure about how to do that yet. Ah! Not everything has to be done with portals. Sometimes you can just walk across stuff. Would you look at that? We need to get up there. Hmm. That seems pointless. That seems awfully pointless. So, why would we do this to ourselves? Why would we do this? Um, there's the exit. I guess that's where we're trying to go? Or... Different perspective. Um, uh, no... I must be missing something. Let's look around a little bit more. Wow, that's really high up. How do I get there? Okay. So this does this does not a lot. That this does not a lot for us. If we fall through there, there's no way to like propel ourselves or anything. There's a solution here somewhere. There's a thing that I'm supposed to do. I think I'm supposed to get up there. Oh. Wonder... Is there a ladder? Almost walked right in. Thank goodness for this railing. I would have walked right into the... The water again. So there must be a point to this. There's gotta be. If we walk out... Oh, what if we put... Gel here? Well, we can't. There's nowhere to get the gel. Yeah, so there's that. And we can't go back. There's no going back. Caution, do not lean on the railing. Noted! Wow, why am I so confused by this? But there's nowhere to put anything. Oops. Fell out of that. That's pretty funny. Okay, let's see if we can portal to somewhere else. No, there, I mean, this is there for a reason, obviously. Obviously. Ah! Look at that. How did I miss that? Well, we found it at least. I still don't think I was wrong. I still think there's something to do with that. I think I have to activate some pulsion gel or something. Oh, we can get in there. That's good. We need to get in there. Huh. I like your style. You make up your own rules, just like me. <laughs> Bean counter said I couldn't fire a man just for being in a wheelchair. Did it anyway. Ramps are expensive. <laughs> okay, so that that's exactly what we need. Oh. Okay, so let's see here. We definitely want this. Why is there so much going on here? There is a lot going on. Okay, so this is a new puzzle. And we're going to figure it out on the next episode. So thanks for joining me on this one. And I will see you then. <laughs>